Selling networking equipment is highly competitive, but Brocade is still managing to exceed Wall Street's expectations, and it's continuing to improve margins by operating more effectively and efficiently internally. One way is through data center consolidation. Dave Stevens is the CTO. Dave, federal agencies report the data centers are about 30 percent of their IT spend. What is it for multi-billion dollar corporations such as yours? Well, I think typically in a corporation our size, you know, it's 20 to 25 percent, but it's still a very large piece of the, uh, over, of the overall IT budget. Uh, and so consolidation activities, uh, being more efficient, uh, being more energy efficient, uh, using technology like virtualization uh, translates directly into the bottom line. It does save a lot, of, uh, a lot of money. What were some of the major changes that you actually made in this data center consolidation? We consolidated from uh, five facilities down to one, from three data centers down to one. In that process, we took out about 30% uh, of our overall space. So we used things like um, a uh, complete flat floor design in our data center. So we have no raised floor in our data center. That creates more floor space to put racks in and equipment in. Um, you don't have to do cutouts for doors. You don't have to do access ramps. It also creates more vertical space in the racks. So because you got more space between the floor and the ceiling, you can put more physical equipment from everybody inside of those racks. You just get more stuff into a, uh, into a smaller uh, space. Uh, we also uh, took one of the largest costs in the data center, which is cooling, and took a pretty unique approach to cooling. We used an in-row cooling design, uh, which pulls cool air through the rows. And so we really only have to cool 50% of our data center. We allow half the rows in the data center to be hot, and we allow the other rows to be cool. Uh, and we draw the cool air from the cold rows through all the equipment, uh, and it gets exhausted out the back of the equipment, and then we contain that hot air in the aisle uh, behind the equipment, so we don't cool it. So how did you discover this, that this was going to work for you? You know, there's been a lot of uh, industry work on looking at the major costs inside of a data center, and this was a project that we took on with uh, a couple of partners and mechanical engineering firms down in San Jose. Uh, and custom design some of these in-row uh, cooling units. We're obviously not in that business, but it's such a big piece of the cost in the data center mm -hmm. um, that allowed us to you know, consolidate the data center. We took about 37% of our power usage out of our data center, and that cooling system, although it's relatively simple, uh, was a big, uh, a big piece of taking cost out of the data center. An another thing that we did um, in the data center, which is um, I would describe as making common sense, uh, but sort of an aggressive design, is um, we brought high voltage electricity into our building. So for example, you know, normal equipment runs at 110 volts or 208 volts, right? We bring 21,000 volt electricity into our building. We bring it all the way down inside the data center and then we convert it to the voltages used by the equipment as close to the equipment as we can get it. And that saves us two or three percent of the overall energy budget in the data center by converting uh, very late in the, in the uh, stage uh, and you know, doing that down in the data center. Another approach that, uh, that we took is um, we put a very large photovoltaic array on the roof that generates about a half a megawatt. It's one of the largest in San Jose, actually. Um, and, uh, and saves about uh, 770,000 kilowatt hours a year. Uh, and it's actually the point that if we pipe that energy straight into our data center, we could run our entire data center off the photovoltaic array. Oh, you're kidding. No, as long as the sun was out. At night, we still need PG&E. But it saves a tremendous amount of, uh, of money every year. It's about, it saves us about a million and a half dollars a year. But you're not piping of, that straight in. No, we take the, uh, we, and, and it's because of this issue with, you know, we need to still run the data center at night. Right. right? So, so you don't we want take it the, to be imbalanced. All right, we take the, po the power off the photovoltaic array and we pipe that into the grid via PG&E. Uh, and then we take you know normal electricity off the grid to power the data oh, center on a day-to-day basis. But the the two actually offset uh, each other, which is a great spot to be in.